Welcome to Superior Profit Live Market Analysis using Q360 degree system. I'm Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company and its trading products and systems, you may visit the website and click on the About menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. We will use Q systems, technical analysis system, industry sector rotation analysis system, and fundamental analysis system to identify trading opportunities using live systems. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. Not that one. Oh. Okay. Let's start looking at the global market. We start with Australian market. We are looking at the broad market index, AXJO. In the weekly chart, it displayed a bearish headwind one week ago. That was also at a watermark resistance level. Looking at that, I had expressed caution. This week, price has come down a little bit. The weekly candle shape is indecisive. Color has turned bearish. In the daily chart, price is still in an uptrend. Therefore, we are not going to look for any short trade yet. If you have long position, you may be cautious. If price can go up a little bit and come down again, that may give a trend following short trade setup. A lot is in the news about China and the US trade discussions. Let's see how the China market is doing. CSI 300. China index. This week had a gap down open and since then price is steadily going down. In the daily chart, it displayed a bearish headwind at the very top. During live market analysis, at that time I had suggested caution. That was a good idea as it always is to be cautious when the bearish headwind comes. If you had a long position because of this long rally from the bottom, you could protect profit by applying trailing stop. Price has fallen down a lot from there, far beyond the lower boundary as well. Those who didn't protect profit gave up a lot of the profit. And those who entered trade late they are in loss. Using the bearish headwind signal, one could be cautious. Now price is below upper boundary level. It is oversold as shown by the band stretch indicator. So we are not going to look for any short trade now. It is oversold and it is very bearish. So we are not going to look for any long trade. China market is definitely bearish. Today it fell down more very extended to the downside. Let's see how the Hong Kong market is. 
Hang Seng index very bearish isn't it instantly we can see here in the weekly chart we had a bearish headwind signal again we are always cautious when there is a bearish headwind at the top after that price moved sideways for a few weeks four weeks and this week it is dropping sharply in the daily it is not in an uptrend anymore it broke out of the triangle pattern somewhat wide triangle pattern that was there in the weekly that was there in the daily today price opened with a gap down open below the memory support line looking at that one could look for a gap short day trade opportunity and that would be very profitable at as price fell a lot during that day it is now oversold we are not going to look for any short opportunity it is bearish, so we are not going to look for any long opportunity. Again, paying heed to the bearish headwind in the weekly chart helped to protect profit in any long position one might have. What about India market? The Indian election is still going on. A couple of weeks ago, price came to the watermark resistance in the weekly chart. In the news, people were talking about breaking out to new highs. However, Q traders are always cautious when price comes to a watermark resistance, especially a deep watermark resistance. Here it was a deep watermark resistance. We would be cautious and I expressed caution when I was studying it during the live sessions it moved sideways for a few weeks and this week it is falling sharply weekly candle shape is bearish weekly backdrop candle color is bearish and weekly has also displayed a bear release signal we may not take a short trade now because of few reasons one is weekly has a memory support though it is some distance away another reason more strong reason probably is because it is already below lower boundary it is oversold shown by the stretch band indicator we don't like to short oversold instruments so we are not going to sell it now it is bearish so we are not going to take any long position also here in the daily also there was a bearish headwind signal price came down little bit from there then it tried to go above the watermark resistance created by the bearish headwind and then fell down. This magenta color candle gave a go with flow trend following short opportunity. Looking at that, you could take a shot in the Nifty 50 index. This is the India market index. Or you could drill down into the index constituents and look for shorting opportunities in weak fundamental stocks in weak industries. Recently, I shared a trade idea in Traders Forum that was an ADR in the American exchange, USA exchange. However, it was an Indian stock. Let's have a look at the forum post. The forum can be accessed from this forum picture on our homepage or going to trade ideas and clicking on forum. In the forum, I suggested a trade idea just one or two days ago. This was the post short setup in Indian bank listed in the USA. I shared it two days ago. These were the 360 degrees analysis snapshots at that time. This was not the stock. This was the snapshot of the India market bank futures. Like the USA has S&P 500, NASDAQ, etc. India market has market level future and also a bank level future, banking sector future called Bank Nifty. NBNC1 is the symbol. 
this showed weakness of the banking sector as a whole. The weekly backdrop candle color turned magenta. It was toppling over. In the daily, it again displayed the bearish headwind, this time at the very top. Then there was a go with flow short trade setup on this candle. It created lower high and started to come down at that time. Afterwards, it gave another go with flow trend following short setup on the day I shared the snapshot at the right edge. That was the bank nifty, the banking sector. And this was the stock. Now this chart is on the Indian stock symbol. This bank is listed in the Indian exchange as well as in the USA exchange as an ADR. In the Indian exchange, the weekly was bearish in color for two successive weeks, starting to topple over, just like the bank Nifty was doing. In daily, it displayed a bearish headwind then it was moving in a range. And when I shared the idea, it was breaking below this memory trend line support with extreme bearish pressure. How about the USA ADR chart? This is how the USA ADR chart looked like. Here we had a bearish headwind in the weekly chart. And then price was starting to topple over at the right edge, the weekly candle backdrop color was bearish, shape was very bearish. In the daily, it was moving in narrow range, bound by watermark resistance, memory resistance, memory support. And on the day of my posting, it was breaking below memory support. That was a breakout short trade setup. It was also breaking with extreme bearish pressure. Price was at pendulum high or price extreme high. That would give us a shorting opportunity at the very top. Those tend to be very profitable if we catch them at the right time. And this was the first opportunity to short the stock after it made a big run to the upside. How about the stock's fundamentals? Here, instead of comparing the ADR with USA banks, I did a fundamental and PR analysis of the Indian bank with its Indian peers. That is more relevant, more accurate. This is the symbol in the Indian exchange, in the National Stock Exchange. And the valuation shows it was overvalued in magenta color. And earnings growth over the yearly periods were all negative. The quarterly periods were all negative as well. Those were showing weakness in valuation as well as earnings growth. Based on that, I suggested the short idea. And if we go back to the Nifty broad index chart now, you would notice that we could short the Nifty when it was starting to come down or we could drill down. and we could find this bank, ICICI Bank, very large bank in India. Instead of shorting bank nifty here, we could look for weak fundamental, weak industry stock and short that. ICICI Bank would be a very good example of applying that principle. How did the bank work out? Let's look at the Indian symbol. India's market has already closed. ICBK.NS. It is down for three successive days. And if we look at the USA ADR, IBN, I shared the idea based on this day's candle, breakout candle. After that, it fell down. Relative performance is very weak. I'm expecting it to go to at least this memory support line. It had options with very little spread. The bid ask spread was narrow, narrow spread options, and you could trade it with options. You could also trade it 
with the ADR, short the ADR. That was a look at the Indian market and how when the market was showing weakness, you could drill down to find weak fundamental, weak industry stock and short that instead of the market. Let's look at the UK market, FTSC, FTSE index. Again, once again, daily displayed a bearish headwind at the very top. That is the reason we are always cautious when the bearish headwind displays. If the checklist conditions are met, we are happy to take a short trade. And if the checklist conditions are not met, at least we protect profit in long positions using protective stop or maybe hedging the position with put options, etc. After displaying the bearish headwind, it pulled back. Now it is at the lower boundary. It is oversold, shown by stretch band indicator. We are not going to short it now. In the weekly, it is breaking below the memory support. Now in daily, if it recovers a bit and then falls down again, that will give a trend following short trade setup. Let's look at the USA market. I checked there are several major events today at 8.30. Three bars here show that these are of high importance and two bars show medium importance. So there are several high and medium importance events scheduled at 8.30. Now it is 8.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We keep an eye on these events. However, many of the days, they don't make any impact on the market. On intraday charts, it seems to be moving the market, but on daily interval, it has insignificant or no impact, no visible impact for most of the days. Sometimes they may be major mover of the market. That is why we keep an eye on that, but we don't trade on these events. We trade based on the actual price movement visible on the charts. Let's have a look at the USA market futures. Okay, if we are looking at futures, we use this workspace that I have set up. On the left hand side, upper corner, I have the market futures here using weekly interval. Dow Jones, S&P 500, Russell 2000 and NASDAQ. Let me sort them by symbol. All of the futures are down for the week. NASDAQ is down most so far, minus 3.7%. Then Russell 2000, about 3%, followed by S&P 500 minus 2.8% and then YM minus 2.5%. For the day, we can look at the lower left corner. We have the same futures again and we can see all of them are down again. NASDAQ is down the most in the pre-market session. It's 24 hours market, but in the overnight session, it is down. 0.97%. Let's look at the chart. It is looking pretty bearish. In the weekly, we have a bearish candle, bearish color and bearish shape. In daily, it is also falling down. It is still in an uptrend, but it is rolling over. If you watch the weekly market roundup, last one, or the previous this session, live market analysis session, you would know that I mentioned when price was coming up, that there was a watermark resistance in the weekly chart, at which level the bearish headwind came earlier and it could push price down. When that happens and price can recover to the watermark level created by the bearish headwind, it is likely that some selling is left. And I had mentioned in both of these weekly market roundups that 
there is a chance it will create a false upside breakout. I am not a fortune teller, but it is based on analysis of lots of charts. We see this keep on happening when price comes to the watermark level, which had a bearish headwind. When price comes back to the same level, it is likely some selling is left. Those who wanted to sell at the bearish headwind price level, they couldn't probably offload all their shares because price fell down sharply. Now when price came back to the same level, they will be happy to offload some more shares. That is the psychological underpinning of this technique. It is indeed creating one false upside breakout now. At the same time in the daily, it displayed a bearish headwind at the very top. We would protect our long position at that time using trailing stop and when price was starting to go below that stop level then we could start to look for shorting opportunities in underlying stocks nasdaq futures nq didn't give any short setup it is still in an uptrend in the daily chart doesn't have any short setup when the bearish headwind came the weekly was not giving a bearish shape or bearish color so we couldn't take a shot at that time we could protect profit but couldn't take a shot as it was starting to roll over we could drill down into nasdaq look for weak fundamental weak industry stocks and look for shorting opportunities in last couple of weeks i had shared several such shorting opportunities and all of them worked out quite well let's have a look at some of them back to the forum let's look at a short setup that i shared one was on nike i shared it eight days ago on first of may this is how the 360 degrees analysis snapshots were the industry was weakening the score was in cyan color earlier and on the day of my posting over one day period using real-time data the industry strength dropped and it was decelerating shown by the base one day and base two day scores they were in magenta color so the industry was weakening with deceleration Nike as a stock was overvalued and its earnings growth was slowing down. Earnings was already over. This is the next earnings date. And this is how the chart was looking like. Again, weekly displayed a bearish headwind. We are always cautious when that happens there was a memory support in the weekly i mentioned about that in the daily it was not able to go up much above the watermark resistances instead it was breaking down below the memory support it was at price extreme high these are again the lucrative shorting opportunities if they don't work out the stop loss is nearby and if they work out, they give huge profit, especially using put options, because put options will increase in value as the price drops, both because of the delta move, price move, as well as volatility increase. Volatility will increase when the price is going down. How did the setup work out? I always tend to follow up with the result. This is a follow-up. I shared the idea on this candle mark with number one. The day ended with a bearish shape candle, so it was allowed to take a short trade at that time. Sometimes I shared the analysis during the day. I'm in a different time zone, Asian time zone. By the end of the day, if the checklist conditions are met, then we are allowed to take the trade near market close. That was true in this case and 
within three days it hit the lower boundary level that was our initial profit target by that time more than risk distance was covered how did i take the trade when i shared the trade idea first of may i took it using simple put options as i mentioned simple put options can give very large profit if the stock drops because of delta movement as well as volatility increase i initiated it with 49 cents debit and within three days the price reached one dollar 18 cents that was more than 100 percent almost 120 percent profit i closed enough lots to get my money back i didn't close entire position in Q's technique we have a guideline that when the initial profit target is reached if the stock and let me change it to usa in q systems we have I, I just changed the country to usa in q age and i'm recalculating the sector industry analysis by the way it is now showing the indian sector performance you can see it is very weak in the indian market that would be true for china market as well it is retrieving data now retrieving real-time data from refinitiv used to be called thomson reuters USA market is not as bearish as India, isn't it? However, it is bearish because most of the sectors are down. If we look for Nike fundamental valuation now, it is still overvalued. Earnings growth still slowing down. There was no earnings results since the time I posted it. Valuation is still overvalued. If we conduct a PR analysis, then it will also let me have a look at the industry. See, the industry has become much weaker now. Isn't it beautiful? When I shared the idea in the forum, this is how the footwear industry looked like. From Cyan, it was just transitioning to magenta. It was just starting to show deceleration under the base columns. I could anticipate a price move, also the industry weakening, and I could take a short trade and see how the industry turned out. It is much weaker now, very smoothly transitioning to bright magenta color, one of the weakest industries in the last three periods. And our guideline is if the industry is continuing to be weak, fundamentals are still weak, technicals are still weak, Let's have a look at NKE as of today to make sure it is weak or not. It is weak. I suggested, I did also book some profit, more than 100% profit when it hit the lower boundary. Since then, it is moving sideways, couldn't go up. Yesterday, it tried to go up but ended with a bearish shape candle that is bearish. The color is red also, bearish. When technicals are bearish like we have here, the industry is bearish like we have in the industry scorecard. The fundamental is weak based on valuation and here earnings growth also. The guideline is not to book full profit. Try to let profit run and that is what I am doing also. Let's look at some other US futures. Let's look at S&P 500. Here also, I mentioned about possibility of a false upside breakout. Again, there was a bearish headwind in the weekly chart, a watermark resistance at that level. When price was going up, in fact, made a new all-time high one week ago. That time I mentioned we may be careful about a false upside breakout, and that is coming true. In the daily, again, it displayed a bearish headwind a few days ago, probably on the same day that NQ also displayed bearish headwind. When multiple related symbols display bearish headwind at the same time, that is even more reason to be cautious and reason to start to look for shorting opportunities. I shorted several stocks and all of them ended with profit.
let's look at Russell 2000. This was the weakest of all for a long time. It was moving sideways. It was far from the previous all time high. One week ago, it had a strongly bullish move. At that time, it started outperforming the market. That was shown by the relative performance lines in weekly and daily. This week, is it is falling again. Bearish color, bearish shape in the weekly and in daily, it is breaking below the memory support. The daily doesn't have a pattern that is telling me to short it right now. Instead, I may drill down into the constituent stocks. Again, look for weak fundamental, weak industry stocks. Those work much better than just looking for technical setups. I have seen the probability of stopping out reduces by about 10% and it hits profit target much faster. If we look for weakness or strength across all the dimensions, industry, fundamental and technical, instead of just looking for technical setups. All the futures are weak. What about Dow Jones futures, YM? Also weak, weekly is bearish color, bearish shape, daily has a memory support. For last two days, price came precisely to that memory support and recovered. We have to see today it does the same thing or not. If it breaks below the memory support, then we may look for shorting opportunities, not in YM, because YM is already oversold, but in the constituent stocks. Market is looking weak. It's not necessarily very bearish yet, but it is looking weak. In this situation, you may either stay aside, stand aside from taking new trades or try to balance your portfolio with both long positions as well as short positions. That is usually my approach. I always try to try to have some long positions, some short positions. The long positions being in weak stocks. No, no, let me correct myself. Long positions being in strong fundamental, strong industry, good technical setup by points, stocks, and short positions are in overvalued stocks, weak industry, and low risk short setup, those kind of stocks. As the market is toppling over, my short positions are doing pretty well, so I'm doing all right. Let's now, let's now move on to the next subject. Let's see if in this market, when the market is toppling over, can we start to look for buying opportunities? If we look for buying opportunities, one, Technique is to look for stocks that are hitting long term trend line support, that is weekly memory support, and then check their fundamentals and industry. We can find such stocks using scan. We can scan them in TradeStation and also in Metastock. Let me use Metastock. Metastock allows me to choose the symbol list very fast. That is Q Global on Metastock. I'm going to run the scan for memory trend line support. Run it on weekly interval. And let me run it on the, let me run it first on the list of stocks I have that has liquid options, that is narrow spread options. I don't have any data stored in my computer. It is going through all the stocks data retrieved in real time from Refinitiv. 312 stocks. It shows the progress bar here. You can see most of them are rejected. Only few are found that are hitting memory support. While it is doing that, let me open the Q Vital program.
the scan is complete it has found 11 stocks so we didn't have to go through 312 stocks we just need to look at this 11 stocks we can now approach in two different ways either we can look at the technical charts or we could look at their fundamentals let's look at their fundamentals copy the symbols I'm going to do a fundamental analysis of these stocks in the new Q vital to be released we can highlight the symbols we want to look at click the left arrow it will bring the stock symbols to the peer list and start to retrieve data on them and calculate vital statistics pretty fast considering that it is retrieving data from definitive semi and I am conducting the webinar at the same time we have multiple value stocks here we could filter for them using the smart filter the charged battery fully charged battery and we have several value stocks and these are also hitting weekly support one interesting stock is CYH do you remember that stock If you are following the forum post, then you notice that I shared an idea on CYH a few days ago. Let's search for that. This was a post on the same stock CYH shared 14 days ago on April 15th, April 25th. At that time, this was my analysis, the healthcare facilities, CYH industry was strengthening. See, under five days, it was still weak, but under two day and one day period, it strengthened a lot. If you opened up the pace one day, two day, you would see acceleration at that time. The industry was starting to accelerate. The stock was value stock at that time. And how the chart looked like? In weekly, it had a trend line support. In daily, it has a memory trend line support. Daily had a bullish headwind. And after that, it was breaking out of the memory resistance. There was another memory resistance. And if we took a trade based on the first memory breakout, we were going to book profit, look for exit at the next memory resistance. Let's look at CYH today. We can go back to QVital, put our cursor anywhere on the row of the stock or on the symbol itself if you want. Click on the chart icon. Let's review the last trade setup. After bearish headwind, it broke out of one memory resistance on this candle. After bullish headwind, it broke out of one memory on this candle. That is the time when I shared it in the post and then it hit another memory resistance somewhere here. We were watchful of that and we would exit the position. Also, earnings was somewhere in this area. That would be another reason to exit the position. And now how is it doing? We ran the scan looking for stocks that are hitting long-term memory support. That is this weekly support. That's why it found the stock CYH. The weekly memories are supporting the price pretty well. There is now another memory resistance nearby in daily. It is inside a triangle pattern. If it can break out of the memory resistance, you may look for a breakout long opportunity. To summarize, we could take a Headwind long setup at this point. However, there was a memory resistance nearby. We might not do that. Then it broke out of the memory resistance. Here we could take a long, but there was a second memory resistance and earning somewhere here. Therefore, if we took a breakout trade after first memory resistance was broken, we would quickly book profit. And now it is inside a triangle pattern. It is looking not weak. It is at a low price and fundamentally value stock. The memories are providing nice support in weekly. If it can break out of the daily, you may look for a 
long opportunity again. What about the other value stocks we found? Groupon, JCPenney, SGMS, UTX, YNTX. SGMS is another stock we may look into, casino and gaming. Let's look at its charts. Very similar pattern and very reliable pattern. All the scans that we have in Q Global or Q Elite, Q Global runs on Metastock, Q Elite runs on Tristation, they are trying to find patterns. They are not trying to find indicator threshold crossing. They either find patterns or find trade setups. This is also looking quite strong. In the weekly, it is breaking out of a triangle pattern. Weekly has turned cyan, that is bullish color. Daily has a memory resistance nearby. We will wait, we will not hurry into the long trade now. If it can break out, we may consider a breakout trade. However, for a breakout trade, the stop loss will be pretty far, at least to this level. I may not want to take a long using breakout in this case because the stop loss will be far. Safer approach would be to wait after the breakout, let the price settle down and go up again. That will give us the first possible trend following long opportunity after this big drop. You may wait for that. Let's look at the industry strength for CYH and SGMS. CYH is in healthcare facilities. Let's go to QH, start with sector. How are the sectors doing? If I sort by one day period, I can double click to sort and reverse the sort order again. Healthcare is actually the strongest sector now, both in terms of strength, also in terms of acceleration. How is healthcare facilities? Let us drill down. Healthcare facilities. It's also strengthening. It was weak earlier, weaker earlier, magenta color over one day period. The score is in cyan. One day pace column is showing acceleration. Five day pace column is also showing acceleration. Five day score is also strong. Therefore, industry is strong, sector is strong, valuation is great. If the stock breaks out, we have a buy opportunity. SGMS is in casinos and gaming. We could start with sector or we could filter for the industry. Here. Here also the industry is strengthening. Instantly we can see that. It has strong strength score, cyan color over one day. We see acceleration is there over two day period. Therefore, we found two possible buying opportunities. Not ready yet, but if they can break out of the respective memory resistance lines, we will have breakout opportunities. Or we may wait for the next trend following setup if the breakout doesn't allow us to take low risk buy, buy point. I will not go through the other results of this scan. Let us use another technique to find trading opportunities. And this time, let us look for shorting opportunities. And we are going to look for shorting opportunities at the top, like I did for Nike, for example. This is exactly how I found the Nike trade setup. I looked for stocks at pendulum or price extreme high that were breaking down. Let's run it on live data today. I will use Q Global. You could use Q Elite also on Tristation. I'm going to combine two scans here. One is looking for stocks at price extreme high and starting to reverse. Those give very lucrative shorting opportunities. And then I could look for stocks that are breaking below support that is giving a short breakout opportunity.
I have selected two scan programs and click okay let me change the interval to daily for swing trading our go to interval is daily interval click the summary and order them properly and okay i have to make another change use the results from preceding acceleration preceding exploration so that they run in a waterfall model start the explorations it will run first exploration find the stocks at extreme high and then on the result it will run the second exploration looking for breakout candidates and very fast isn't it using live data it has found two stocks interestingly i shared the idea on t-mobile us in the forum maybe yesterday we'll have a look at that let's look at cmcsa first and here instead of going to the fundamental analysis because only two stocks were there i'm looking at the charts this is looking very strong in the weekly chart weekly displayed a barely signal a bearish shape candle but the candle color is neutral now not bearish yet it came to this long term watermark resistance and precisely reversed from there in daily at the very peak again it displayed a bearish headwind it is at the memory support in the daily chart breaking below that however yesterday ended with a lower tail candle so we are not going to short it yesterday also if we short yesterday if we shorted yesterday the stop loss would be quite far for my liking there is another memory support line nearby i would not short it here instead if it can go up little bit and fall down again that would give us the first trend following shorting opportunity or we may wait for the next trend line to be broken and then look for a shorting opportunity what about t-mobile us let's look at the forum post first categories live analysis posts T-Mobile US breaking below memory trend line support one day ago, 8th May. So yesterday I posted it using live analysis. The stock was and is still overvalued, shown by magenta color in valuation. This was the chart when I shared it. The weekly was having magenta color candle it created a false upside breakout the weekly tried to go above this watermark resistance people would be probably buying at that time but not q traders we are not fond of breakout trades at the very top not me at least in daily i could see there were several watermark resistances very close by meaning it was struggling to go up and when i shared it I found it using the exact same scan that I ran today. I ran it yesterday during market hours. It was nicely breaking below memory support in daily. That looked like a great shorting opportunity at the stop. At the top, stop was very narrow, just above this watermark level. And initial profit target could be this yellow direction line, or we could take it at the next memory support line if it falls rapidly through the yellow direction line again if we short at the top like this put options are great instruments i tend to use at least 45 days to expiry and if i am aggressive i may use just out of the money option or if i am not so aggressive i may use at the money option for that those tend to make profit very fast if our direction is right. In the money options are also fine. In the money options, we'll make profit a little bit slowly, but they are safer. Therefore, if I am not aggressive, I may use in the money. In this case, I might have used slightly out of the money options. How is it today? Let's use the live charts. I shared the post yesterday during market hours and what happened after that let's say 
it ended the day with a bearish shape candle in the daily. The breakout was very obvious. Relative performance was tilting down. So we were allowed to take a short trade at the end of the day. Keeping in mind that there is a memory support in the daily. I mentioned about that also in the forum. Some people may wait for the weekly memory resistances to be broken. That is also fine. We have to find out which approach we are comfortable with. If you are comfortable with taking a shot at the end of yesterday's close, or just near market close, that is fine. If you wanted to wait for the weekly memory support to be broken, that is also fine. It depends on the comfort level of the trader. I took a short trade in TMUS yesterday. Stop level is very close by. Those were the two stocks we found using the scan, breaking down below support at pendulum high. One of them had a trade signal that was TMUS. Let us spend a few more minutes to go through some other trade ideas from the forum. Back to live 360 degrees analysis. Look at the latest posts, clicking new. Let's look at the immediate next post. As you know, I'm not fond of picking and choosing. That is not genuine approach. This is an analysis I shared two days ago. 7th May, this was on an ETF, XLV. Therefore, I didn't carry out any fundamental analysis. It was not a stock. I saw using real-time data, you can see it was around 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At that time, healthcare was very weak in score and it was decelerating also. And I looked at XLV ETF in the weekly. It was not able to break above the memory resistance. Instead, the weekly had a bearish shape, bearish color candle. Weekly was in a triangle pattern, but the memory support was quite far away, enough for us to take a profitable short trade. And in daily, there were many memory resistances price came to that level and reversed, giving us a go with flow trend following short trade setup. If we applied the checklist instantly, we know there was a go with flow short trade setup. Stop would be just above this memory resistance level. We could book profit once the risk distance was covered or at the lower boundary level. I also noticed it was falling with extreme bearish pressure. I don't know how it is doing now. It was shared two days ago. Let's look at XLV using live charts. XLV, I shared the idea on this day. That day ended with a long lower tail. Therefore, if you were about to take the trade just before market close, you wouldn't looking at the lower tail. And then you will avoid entering the trade because yesterday also ended with an indecisive shape candle. If for some reason you entered the trade before market close, then you are still in the trade. Stop is above all these memory resistances. If it falls down, it will hit profit. The Q technique suggests, and that is the guideline, always confirm the trade setup just before market close. I'm in a totally different time zone. Uh, sometimes I may take the trade ahead and then fall asleep ahead of market close, maybe around midday or in the morning sessions even sometimes. However, if you are able to do that, it is always best to wait for about 4.15 p.m. What time is the market close? 4 p.m., right? So maybe 3.45 p.m., 15 minutes before market close. Then you see if everything is meeting the checklist conditions and then take the trade. If you did that, you would not take this trade. We never want to initiate a trade if we see tails in the candle. Lower tail 
means bulls could push price up. If price can fall down again, that is that is fine if you already entered that trade. You may go through the other forum posts, though provide excellent examples of disciplined trading. Very disciplined trading using 360 degrees analysis, sector industry rotation analysis, fundamental analysis, as well as technical analysis. Almost nine o'clock. That is all the time we have for today. I have not scheduled next week's event yet. I may be traveling to India. There I may not have enough bandwidth to conduct sessions. If I travel and if I have bandwidth, I will schedule the event. You may keep an eye on the on the education live class page to see when the next morning market event is there. Thank you. Why oh, I came to this page to the PowerPoint is I wanted to come to the thank you page. Thank you very much for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. It's always a pleasure to be with you on these days on the live market analysis. Have a great week and trade profitably. <laughs>